Hey everybody, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda, The Minish Cap Blind. In the last episode, we infused the power of the sword with the water element, meaning we can make three clones instead of two. Not sure where that's going to really be useful, but I'm sure we'll figure that out. Also, our sword is blue now, which is totally awesome. And in this episode, we're going to be doing some main story stuff, hopefully, if I don't get sidetracked and doing some kinstone fusions around town. Now, I'm just going to go around town really quick to kind of spot some fusions, if I can do some, and then we'll try to collect the rewards. We do have some rewards to get on Mount Crennel, which is pretty good. So I think I'm just going to go around town, look for some kinstone fusions, and if I see any, then, of course, we'll cut back. So I'll see you guys when I find some. Oh, I did find somebody. Oh boy. It only took me like a good minute or so because no one really wants to fuse Kinstones with me anymore. It's kind of a sad time. But I found somebody. There we go. Uh, I know it's going to be like a small reward because it's a green Kinstone. But it's still a reward nonetheless that we can go for. And it looks like there's something here in the Caster Wild. Yeah. We're going to have to see what that's all about. Anybody else? Kids? Anybody else want to fuse? I have loads of things. I have loads of kinstones. No? Alright, well, so I'm gonna keep looking around then. Oh! Something I just see. Something I. Yes. Perfect wording here. Uh, we can light these up now. And that allows us to open this door. We can finally get the reward that's been out here for centuries. We got a red kinstone piece. So, if anything else, that's a good reward to get. And, uh,. Let's put that away and uh, keep looking for kinstone fusions. You got one? No. You got one? No. All right. Well, I did some digging around elsewhere, and I couldn't really find any more fusions. So instead, we're going to go around and collect some of the wars that we have not gotten yet from the kinstone fusions that we have made, like the one in Caster Wilds and the one in Mount Crenel. So let's go ahead and grab our ocarina and do some warping shenanigans. Uh, someone did mention me to go to the Great Fairy Fountain here in Mount Crenel uh, to throw my remote bombs to see if that does anything. That is a good point. I could do that. Um, I don't exactly remember where that fountain is, so hopefully we can find it. As for the reward... Oh. I'm just bad because I completely missed it. But luckily for us, we have the Cane of Packy. I'm never going to say that name right, ever. And let's go ahead and collect the reward. Is it in there? Uh, it looks like it is, actually. So it is time to shrink down the size. And go in here, I guess, if this is where it is. Oh, I can fuse more kinstones. hey -o. Didn't even bother to check with these folks. I'm glad I'm here checking it now. Man, it's funny because I was saying to myself, Oh, man, let's go do some optional uh, reward collecting stuff from the kinstones. And we're finding more kinstones. I guess that just happens to work out. And I'm not sure, I think the green ones are like rupees or something, or something like that. Money would be insanely nice at this point, because money is uh, always worth. Can you fuse? Hello? Can you stop running for a second? No? Alright, I'll leave it to it. You? Hey! You can fuse kinstones! We're already going to collect so many rewards. Maybe this whole episode will just be me doing kinstone fusions. Oh god, here? You're going to really put something here? All right, that's fine. It's also in Mount Crenel. It's at the very top, too. Uh, anybody else? Anybody else? You got a fusion? No, you're just hacking and slashing. How about you? Oh, you got one. All right. I think I have yours here as well. Dang, all these people here can fuse. This is good stuff. This is very good stuff. Man, most of these rewards are in Mount Crenel, huh? I mean, that's easier for us. Easier to find them. That's on the base. So that's good to get. Anybody else? In here? Where am I? Oh, this is where one of the wards is, right? Oh, this... Is this the ward? It's it's a treasure chest. 200 shells! Hey! We've been, we've been trying to look for those forever. So it's nice that we're getting those now. Uh, what's in there? That might be the way... F like, not the way forward. That is because we know... Interesting. Well, if I'm already here... Oh. Oh. I think this is the, uh... I don't know what the heck I'm doing in here, to be honest with you. So where is... Oh, I already got it. So now I need to go up to the top. 
And then I have to go to the base. So, hmm, this is interesting. How am I going to get up there? Well, I guess I'll see you guys when I get up there, if I can remember how to do so. Well, hold on the phone, Chief. We got a Kinstone Fusion. Can't forget about that. I was just coming back to the, Mal the Malari Mines, and here we found another guy we could fuse Kinstones with. And it looks like most of these are going to be in the base. You know, I will... T Ooh, that is definitely money. I will take that. I like rupees. And it's at the very bottom of Mount Crenel, too. Well, now I'm not exactly sure if we're going to do main story progression in this episode. Because I was not anticipating all of these kinstone fusions. I mean, we haven't been here in a very long time. So I guess it's good that we're getting them out of the way. But at the same time, I was kind of hoping to do some story progression. But I guess better to get these out of the way now. Oh, you? Hey, you can fuse kinstones. And it's a red boy. Oh, nope. This one. <laughs> okay. Well, red is good. Red means that it could be, a, I think, it's a heart piece or something? Oh, that's at the very top, too. Okay. Ooh, okay. All right, it looks like we're going to have to make to the top of that. Well, that's very good. Jeez, it looks like we're going to be in Mount Chrono for quite some time, huh? Can I climb here? Or from this point? Uh, where am I? There. Hmm. I don't exactly remember how to get to the top. I think this... Oh, this is the dungeon. Heck no, we don't want to go in here. So, in order to get to the top, I'm going to have to go down and then climb all the way up. And in doing so, I can actually get to that guy. Alright, well, I guess we're descending all the way down so we can collect some awards here. You know, I figured I might as well keep this in because why the heck not. We're just descending down to madness. Uh, let's just check the map to make sure we're going to the right spot. Oh, well, he's right down here. There he is. There's our boy. Yo, do you want to stop hopping? Oh, this guy is going to suck. If I keep doing this, he can't kill me. <laughs> Holy macaroni. Dude, you're going to need to chill. Holy cow. Is this... Can you say this is the toughest enemy in the game? Because I can. There we go. He's finally dead. What did we just get? 100 rupees? That sounds pretty good. I will not complain over 100 rupees. Now, we need to climb. Maybe I can go ahead and find this uh, this fairy fountain while we're here. Is it in here? No, I will take I will take this though. Free fairies equals free full health equals you know all kinds of good stuff. I'm not complaining. I just wish Linky Boy could climb just a tad bit faster. He's a little slow boy, but he's fine. He's just he's cruising. He's uh he's big chilling. Actually, I believe the fairy fountain is here, if I'm not mistaken. I think. Yeah, I think it's actually right here. Am I right on that? Do I remember things? I do remember things. Uh, I want to throw some bombs in here. Here you go. Welcome to the Adventurer's Spring. Let me rest your weary body. May light shine you. Oh. That did a whole lot of nothing! <laughs> that did nothing. Well, as long as we found out it did nothing, I guess I can't really complain. We're, at least it was worth coming here because of all the Kinstone Fusion, so... Original is going to come here to see about that Fairy Fountain thing. But this works too. Uh, what is in there? Uh, my curiosity has piqued my interest. I believe we are at the top now, which is great. But at the same time... I want to find out what's in here. Oh, I can also dig in there. Hold on. The moments. We're digging. I don't think we've actually been in here yet. Uh, at least this does not look familiar to me in any capacity. Will you die? Thank you. Oh, there is a hard piece. I have definitely not been here yet. 
I want to make sure I break all these just to make sure I don't miss anything. Especially on the walls. This looks suspicious. Nothing? Okay. Well, there is a heart piece here. We will pick that up. We got this dude just chilling. Wow. Well, he's dead. That's fine. Ooh, Rupee. Gimme. I can fly. Now that I have the capacity to carry rupees, I will definitely take as many as I can get my hands on. My grubby little hands. Alright, what else do we got in here? I got Zappy Boys coming in here. Don't want to miss anything. Anything here? No? <laughs> I don't know why I go through all this trouble of digging through all this. Hey, this is actually a pretty good lengthy uh, exploration episode, you know? We haven't had one of these in a hot while, though. So I'm not complaining. Uh, I'm kind of glad we got into this, like, domino effect where we're just kind of digging around. We're, uh, we're doing some cool stuff. We're digging. Just to make sure we don't miss any secrets. Because every time I come into one of these areas, I always miss out on some secrets. So not today. Today, we're going to find anything and anything we can get our hands on. Anything. Doesn't look like I see anything too important. There's got to be something here. Well, first of all, can y'all just get out of here? Is there anything? Oh! Can't fool me! Oh, this is definitely looking like a good old uh, blue. Which is our final Goron! Oh boy, we can finally see the reward for this! That's a tough wall. The three of us could together couldn't even break it. Oh, but it's okay, dude. You guys, we got a fourth member coming your way. We got the Let's Play Brigade. We got Ralph. We got Robert. We got, uh, I don't know, Matt, I guess. <laughs> Is he, like, an official, unofficial member of the Let's Play Brigade? I don't even know, man. But now we can finally break this wall and claim our prize. I might actually do this in this episode just for the sake of it. Because I want it. I want it. All right. Well, we finally uncovered all the Goron boys. Uh, hopefully there's nothing... How do I get out of here? Oh, I was like... That was not a very easy spot to make. Not a, Well, that's not what I mean, but... Well, I'm certainly glad I checked this out. Uh... Did we do anything here? Uh, strange pattern bombs. Thanks, dude. <laughs> you have definitely been helpful. But not really. So that's cool. Uh, let's see. I believe our reward, though... Yeah, it's right up here. So, we're gonna go ahead and check this out. Let's climb our way. Ooh. This looks beautiful! Look at this! Holy smackers! Alright. Two pieces. Lots of rupees. I'm almost at the capacity to buy the, uh... The, the, qui the quiver upgrade. Which sounds pretty good. Oh, oh, you're really going to damage me on the way down? What? A, who do you think you are? Well, there is still one more reward to get. It's over here. Oh, yeah, we have to shrink, huh? Uh, is it... I think it's actually through here. If I'm mistaken. Yeah, because of the water puddles. There's got to be... Yep, this is it. A blue kinstone piece. Not sure if that's any useful at the moment, but we have done it. Now, is that all the rewards I can get here? Uh, I just gotta... Ch oh, they're still on the Mount Creno base. Not an actual easy spot to get to, to be honest. But we're gonna do it. So, let's see. Ocarina time. We're gonna warp our way out of here. I think the easiest warp would be go to Hyrule Castle Town. Uh, it's, that's the easiest way, isn't it? That might be the fastest way to get to the bottom. Uh, the Pegasus Boots. Hmm. Let's check the map again, because I clearly don't have a sense of direction. Uh, should be Highlands. There is something over there. I can swim now, which means I can probably do something there. Hold on. <laughs> I'm like, where do I go? Okay, the Tribby Highlands. That's it. That's it. Okay. All right, Linky boy, we're crossing. We're gross. We're gr we're going somewhere. Uh, as for where to go here, uh, it's looking like I'm going here. This is gonna take us to where we need to go. I can swim. 
probably a good place to check out, but it's fine. Here we are in Mount Crennel's base. The reward is going to be requiring to be small. I believe it's up there. And luckily for us, there is a nice little uh, place thing. Too bad I can't get through here easily. I'm going to have to do some maneuver in here. Break that boulder, go through here. Avoiding red shoes. And now it's time to shrink down to small size. And we're going to go through here and grab our reward. And hopefully it's decent. Where is it? 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 There it is. Uh, I can't exactly say that was worth the time. But at least we got it anyway. So that's kind of nice. All right. All right. Now for the for the main course, the one thing we've been waiting for this entire episode. The one thing I have been honestly waiting for since we found out it existed. We need to go... Uh, what's the best way here? Probably here. We need to go to Lon Lon Ranch because we're going to go find those pesky Gorons. And we are going to see what our reward is for all of our efforts. We know we recovered those two Gorons and we're like, hey, two Gorons. That sounds pretty good. And then we come to find out there are four of them we actually need to break through. And it's like, well, dang. But no, not no more. We're going to find out. We're going in. We're going to just walk it through. Oh. Oh, come on, dude. No way. But we get some... Ooh, 200 rupees. All right. Well, that's a good start. That is a very good start. <laughs> it just... Now we're not done yet, and I was kind of hoping we were, but it's fine! Because now we have enough rupees to go to the shop. Man, it's just a big old domino effect from this point. I'm very glad about it. We're getting a lot done. We're gonna go to the shop and buy that quiver. The thing that's been, you know, kind of chilling there since the dawn of the beginning of the dinosaur era, as you know. Just been sitting here. Uh, it doesn't look like I could afford anything. There's a shield. I think I already have it, right? Yeah, I guess if something happens to it. I could buy some seashells. I don't want to warp here, dude. I don't want to warp nowhere. I want to buy this. Yes, please. All right. We have done it, boys. We have bought the thing. All righty. Well, I think that's a pretty good place to end things off. We did get a whole bunch done. And, of course, we have to end the episode off in this location because that's just what we do. But next time on the Minish Cat Blind, uh... Maybe we'll, could, maybe we'll actually do some sword progression. I feel like we've done a ton of optional stuff, but there's always so much to check out and so much to explore that maybe we could do both. Maybe we could check out some more next stuff and then do some required stuff. I don't know. It just seems like no matter where I go, there's always stuff to do, and we're going to do it, and it's going to be a good time. But on that note, everybody, thank you guys so very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time for some more of the Minish Cat Blind, everybody. Thank you so much. And I will see you guys then.